you can add graphs, diagrams, charts, photos, icons, all kinds of images. I'll show you how to add your own and how to add images from the stock libraries in PowerPoint. First, if you have data you want to visually represent, you can make a chart or graph right in PowerPoint. Under the Insert tab, you can add a table, and after choosing the number of columns and rows, you can select different styles. You can also choose Chart, and you'll be given a number of different chart options, such as bar charts, pie charts, scatter plots, etc. Choose the type, and then you'll have more style options on top of the example. Click OK, and an Excel spreadsheet will pop open where you can paste your data. Close out the spreadsheet when you're done, and after that you can change the colors, the labels, and the size. Use the buttons to the right of your chart to explore your options. If you've already created an image or a chart in a different program and it's in a JPEG or PNG format, you can go to Insert, select the Pictures drop-down, choose the location of your image, and pop it in. Use the dots around the border to resize it so it'll fit where you want it. Remember that your poster is big though and if you stretch the image out, it could look pixelated or blurry. Make sure the images you include have a high resolution. Also, if you're using an image that isn't your own, ask the author's permission and or cite your source. Now, PowerPoint has some stock images and icons you can use. Back to the Insert tab, you can select Pictures and Stock Images. You've got some different styles you can choose from on top, and then just use the search bar to browse what's available. I'll select the one I like and hit Insert, and I can move or resize it. And if I double click on it, I can use Effects, or give it a frame, I can crop it, and lots of other options. Again, play around with the tools available and see what you come up with. Images, graphs, and icons aren't required elements for your research poster, but they add a nice touch.